The EPA is setting the first ever nationwide standards to end the limitless dumping of carbon pollution from power plants. Here's how it works. Over the next few years, each state will have the chance to put together its own plan for reducing emissions, because every state has a different energy mix. Some generate more of their power from renewables, some from natural gas, or nuclear, or coal. And this plan reflects the fact that not everybody's starting in the same place. So we're giving states the time and the flexibility they need to cut pollution in a way that works for them. And by setting these standards, we can actually speed up our transition to a cleaner, safer future. With this clean power plan, by 2030, carbon pollution from our power plants will be 32 percent lower than it was a decade ago. Of leaders, as policymakers, and as citizens of this plan. And by combining this with greater investment in our booming clean energy sector and smarter investments in energy efficiency, and by working with the world to achieve a climate agreement by the end of this year, we can do more to slow and maybe even eventually stop the carbon pollution that's doing so much harm to our climate.